Israel continues to demolish houses of Palestinians. This time, the Israeli bulldozers made their way into the largely Arab populated town of Om al Faham, and the target was a mall built just last week. On the site, locals set up a tent to protest the demolition of the building, and hundreds of residents took part in the Friday prayer led by the head of the Islamic movement, Raid Salah. This is just the tip of the iceberg. Israel is planning to transfer the Arabs here, but we will keep trying to get our right to live on our land. The one-story mall was supposed to be a center for selling fruit and vegetables. But on Thursday morning, Israel demolished the mall under the pretext that it had been illegally built. Um al-Faham residents say that the municipality seldom gives building permits to Arabs. Without any notice or warning, more than 2,000 Israeli soldiers came here to destroy the building. They tried to get a permit, but our requests for permits were always turned down. What can we do? Also, Israel's municipality of Al-Quds handed out demolition orders to seven new families in the Wadi Al-Hilwe neighborhood of Silwan, south of the old city on Wednesday. This comes as Israel issued new permits for construction of new housing units and settlements built on Palestinian land occupied in 1967, a practice illegal under international law. The tent in Umm Al-Fahim will serve to remind people of the ordeal Arabs have to undergo to get construction permits, but residents of Umm Al-Fahim have already started rebuilding the place in defiance of the Israeli demolition orders. They say Israel cannot stop them from uplifting their social and economic life. If Israel destroys our buildings, we will build again. We are determined to live on our land, and if anything deserves to be destroyed, it is the occupation, not our homes. Many believe that the Israeli procedures in the Arab town of Um al Faham is in line with the viewpoints of some ministers in the right-wing Israeli government that have called for transfer of Arabs from Israel. Such protests are happening quite often in Israel and on a weekly basis. Palestinians feel that they are facing an unprecedented attack from the Israeli right-wing government, and that's why they say they will continue their peaceful protests and rebuilding what Israel destroys. From Amir Fahim, Shirin Yassin, First TV.